Driver, step out of the car. Hey, welcome to vlog five, hashtag. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Officer Jordan Saldana with the Chico Police Department. Catch back up with you guys. We've been monitoring the comments. Uh, we know, we've noticed that you guys really like the vlog, the ride along vlogs. So we've uh, contacted Sergeant Pena with the C team. His team right now, uh, since college is out of town uh, for winter break, they are primarily a proactive unit um, that are just out. Uh, they don't answer calls for service. They're just proactively uh, enforcing uh, laws and uh, obviously vehicle codes and all whatever they can find. So I've got Officer Jack Diddy on the camera. He's going to follow along with us to try to capture everything so you guys can see uh, multiple views and angles. Uh, but first, we got to meet up with Sergeant Payne and find out who we're working with tonight or who we're riding with and uh, get this thing started. Hey everyone, this is Sergeant Payne. Sergeant Payne, say hi to everybody. How you doing? Thanks for letting us ride with your team tonight. Where, 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 are, we, where are we at? What we got going on tonight? All right, well, tonight we're going to be we're uh, doing street crimes, so we're just going to be doing proactive enforcement. You guys are going to jump in with uh, a new officer, say this to me, and one of our laterals, uh, Officer Wright. Easy, the hair, easy the hair. Hair. Cool. All right, so this, this is our, this yep, is our that's ride. That's right. Take us to me. That's your ride. Awesome. You guys have a good one. Be safe. Cool. Thanks, Sarge. Rest bad, guys. All right, guys. So this is Officer Wright. Officer yeah. Sega Stumi. We're going to be riding with them tonight. Thanks, guys, for uh, for letting us ride with you tonight. Hopefully, we'll have some fun, show the people what's, what you guys are all about, and uh, what do you guys got going on right now? What do you... Well, I don't want to interrupt anything you guys got going on, but... Coffee. Okay, main priority, get coffee? That's right. All right, let's start the night off right, guys. Let's get some coffee. Where are we going now? So we're going to head out to uh, the range. We've got our department shoot to do tonight. So we're going to do some time, uh, some combat shooting, and uh, just range time. Nice. So one of the benefits of uh, we at Chico Police Department is that we actually get a lot of range time. We get a lot, we get a lot of uh, uh, practice, which is important um, for our marksmanship and accuracy, right? Training. Yep. So... Uh, is this the month? I think it's the monthly shoot, right? Monthly, Correct. Yeah. So we shoot once a month. We go out to the range, practice. Mm-hmm. So, Officer Wright, can you tell us? Uh, tell us? Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah. So I've been an officer for 13 years. Uh, spent 12 and a half years up in Paradise, and started here with Chico PD in June, and really loving uh, the work environment, loving the people, and getting to know the community. Nice. Yeah. Any uh, any specialties you can tell us about? about? So, gosh, I've been an FTO, handled a canine, a narcotics canine, uh, been a part of narcotics task force for Butte County. Um, what else have I done? Um, been an OIS uh, officer in charge. Uh, I've done a lot of uh, little things in, in around the department. Um, when I was there, was PO, uh, POA president, um, organized special events for our families, and uh, just got involved with our law enforcement community up there, and looking forward to doing it here. Nice. So, the lighting's a little bit bad, sorry guys, but um, it is nighttime, it's always difficult, so as you can see, I'm back here, riding with these guys, you got Officer right up here, passenger seat, Officer Sagastume is... Uh, is, the, is driving tonight. Uh, Officer Sagas, do you want to fill us in about you with a little information, a little background? Sure. So I'm from Chico, born and raised. Uh, from high school, went to the Marines, so I have that background, and then came back, started a family, worked for the federal government for Social Security for a while, and then December of last year, decided to 
go into law enforcement, and so I've been with Chico since December of last year. Nice. Or December of 2018. Nice. So, what was it that made you want to change career paths into law enforcement? It's always something that I've wanted to do. Um, it's something to be able to serve your community in a productive way. I mean, any way of serving your community is productive in its own regards, but something that just always seemed to be something I wanted to do. Nice. So, uh, just to kind of fill in people watching, we are in a unmarked vehicle. You probably noticed that when uh, the guys are doing the, the vehicle checkout. Um, the reason we're in one of these unmarked vehicles is, uh, one, because these guys uh, often go out, right? Don't you guys often go out in unmarked cars? Just to, yeah. So what, what are some of the benefits of driving the unmarked cars? So benefits are you're able to uh, sneak up on people. They don't see and label this as a uh, patrol vehicle. You're able to see suspicious activity um, happen right in front of you. Uh, versus in a marked patrol vehicle, a lot of times uh, they see the car coming and so they'll run and hide or stop the activity that uh, is suspicious. So what are some things that, uh, Officer Wright, what are some things that you like to do on patrol or what, what, is, uh, what is your main focus since you've been on this team? It's all proactive. You guys don't go to calls, right? So. Correct. Right now, you know, I just really like going out and, and uh, those areas where probably don't see a lot of patrol cars um and looking for people that are um opportunists so a lot of a lot of people that are out there waiting to burglarize or steal you know they'll sit and wait so, so usually like either them trying to trying to support their habit yeah so they're they're unfortunately you know these folks that are addicted to substances, whether it doesn't matter what the substance is, alcohol, uh, methamphetamine, heroin, whatever, you know, they have a hard time uh, providing for themselves. So they've got to prey on the people that have so that they can have it, right? And that's unfortunate. Um, so the people that are out there working hard, paying taxes, going to work, so providing for their families become, um, become the the place where these people that have a habit that needs to be supported, uh, they feed on them. And uh, you know, I see all too often uh, people, you know, they just, they don't do simple things like just lock their car. Um, or they'll go to the gym and they'll leave all of their stuff in a bag in the back seat of their car. And, and, and unfortunately, the people that are out there to steal, um, They'll go to any means necessary, and especially if you have a nice purse sitting in the back seat. They they don't uh, they don't care whether you're driving a, a a used 1997 Honda Civic or a brand new Tesla. That window is gonna break the same, yeah. uh, or the window or the door won't be locked. You know, yeah. and they'll take your stuff. Yeah. Um, with Chico, obviously there's street lights. There's a lot, you know, in some areas there's not very many street lights, but having the contrast from street lights to your front door, yeah. that that little bit of, of light contrast, look, um, bad things, bad people don't like light. When you if if they if you're gonna do something bad, they want dark. Oh well, yeah. You know? So if we can shine some light and stop a little bit of their darkness, that's a win. There you go. You can put that on a t-shirt. Yeah, literally and figuratively. Hashtag light into the darkness. Or is that a pound sign? What is it? And and who and who was it? Who was it that took over the pound sign and now made it? A hashtag. Uh, that's true, actually, because when I was growing up, that was always a pound sign. A pound sign. <laughs> that is true. It took me a little while to figure out what people were talking about hashtags, what the heck they were talking about. <laughs> that waffle number. What? Talk about that. The pound sign that you put in front of your uh, sentence? Yeah. I don't get it. I, I just called it it's, the tic-tac-toe sign for years when I was little. It's like, when the whole thing got started, man, I was like, 
I was thinking I was cool, so I'll be like, that's so cool, hashtag. And they're like, no, it goes hashtag, that's so cool. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. You're supposed to say it like as a period or an exclamation point, aren't you? And they're like, no. It's hashtag Coolio or hashtag CPD. It's a pound sign, come on. What's the, what's our um, hashtag, like what's the hashtag ride-alongs? Oh yeah, there's all kinds of hashtags because it'll come up in their searches, so. All right. We'll do like hashtag. Chico ride-along? Or hashtag like what's Chico, the one for this one? Uh, Vlog5. What's that? This is Vlog5. Vlog5. All right. <laughs> welcome, to, welcome to Vlog5, hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Say it, do it. Hey, welcome to vlog5, hashtag. <laughs> Yo, when in Rome. Hey, I'm in the car with a bunch of millennials, so when in Rome. Am I a millennial? I don't know. Oh, What's the that? cutoff date? That is so messed up. I am, I'm a little upset that like, Wait a minute. the millennial range is so broad that like... Where do you identify? Vlog5. Hashtag. As an 80s kid, I guess. <laughs> we were like, that is not how you use hashtag. We know. All right. <laughs> the hashtag just doesn't make sense to some people. <laughs> hashtag. Hashtag doesn't make sense. <laughs> hashtag. <laughs> oh, so Sagas, dude, you just came out of the, uh, well, not just came out of the academy, but... Um, I'm sure you remember being out of the academy and having to pick up all your brass, right? Yeah, so that's right. One of the benefits of being out here is uh, you can shoot and you don't have to pick up your brass. So that's true. the first time that's ever happened because in the Marines, same thing. You had to pick up all your brass. At the <laughs> oh, that's right, huh? And yeah. they even got this great idea that you should, should uh, smash brass, too, in the Marines. So after you were done collecting it all, you'd sit there for hours, taking each little shell, and with a rock, smashing it closed. Really? Talk that, about a uh, waste of time. Yeah. Hey, I'm that's pretty what we, sure any that's what you got, knows exactly what You got paid yeah. so well to do. Yeah, so yeah I got you, paid less than a minimum wage to, right. to do that. <laughs> to so smash yeah. <laughs> brass. Like, so if you were in the military or in the Marines and you had to smash brass, comment below, tell us your story, let us know what, what that was all about. Hashtag vlog5. <laughs> <laughs> hey, used it right. Hashtag. <laughs> Hashtag. And you just ruined it. And there you go. He was so close. Uh. Yeah, so if you are a police officer in the U.S. or in any other country, let us know what your guys' range is like or your guys' range rules. Do you have to pick up brass? Uh, and this smash brass thing that I've never heard of. Apparently it's a thing. So. We are at the range. We will bring you guys along with us and check it out. This is the fun part of the job. Paperwork, not so much. Hope you guys enjoyed the range. Yep. So how'd you guys like that train? I liked it, it was good. That was good. Crash Coaster did a good job. Yeah, so now that we're back, we uh, we came up with some uh, okay. some nicknames for each other. We got old Brass, Brass Crusher up there in the driver's seat and uh, Hashtag up there in the passenger seat. Right. Since he still doesn't know how Hashtag works, but that's all right. We're hashtag. <laughs> he just throws it in there. Hashtag, all right. <laughs> All right. Just throws it in there all mimbly oh, mimbly like. See that mouse? There's a mouse in the road. Yep. Hashtag. 
So. All right, so we are heading back to town. It's gonna be what, five, about 15 minute, 15 minute drive or so. Uh, we're gonna head back into town and what do you guys wanna do? Thinking about getting another cup of coffee. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're making, you're gonna make, these, make this team look bad. No, no, we got some things, you know, um, I don't want to. I don't want to let the cat out of the bag. Okay. Because uh, uh, I don't want the vloggers out there, uh, vlog five, to hashtag, um, to go ahead of us uh, in any way. So it's not live. <laughs> he doesn't know how this works, dude. Go. He thinks we're live right now. So uh, <laughs> get ready. All right, so we'll touch back base. We'll touch base with you now uh, in a little bit. Once we get back into town, and uh, let you know what, what we're doing. Now the valley turned the headlights on. No, they don't. Light it up. Alright, so you guys want to run us through uh, that real quick? I mean, I didn't, it wasn't rolling when we initially saw it, but you guys want to... Yeah, so we were parked here on the side of the road. It's late at night, so one of the things that sticks out like a sore thumb is somebody driving down the road with no lights on. That's uh, probable cause to stop somebody. And when you do that, you're looking for anything that could be putting the public at safety at risk. Uh, a lot of times people that are driving under the influence of alcohol, that's one of the things they forget to do when they start a vehicle is turn on the headlights. So that's the main thing we look for when we see somebody without headlights is, is this person okay to be driving? And so we conducted a stop and it looks like they were just coming from across the street and it was something that they just completely forgot about. So everyone in the vehicle, you guys did a record check on everybody? Record check on both of them? Yep. And uh, everybody came out uh, to be clear warrants and ones and had the driver had a valid license. So uh, they were warned about or just advised, hey, you know, don't forget to turn on your headlights when you leave a parking lot. Um, and good positive contact in, you know, in the community. Cool. Yeah, hashtag. All right, so now we're going to... Now that we're back on the prowl, huh? Back on the prowl, hashtag. And here comes somebody without a headlight behind us. Can't really see the vehicle. Are they in number one lane? Yeah. Okay. Just behind us. Looks like an older Honda. Yeah, let it. Because we got another red light, so let's see if it'll pass up, come up door to door with you. Because if it goes to the highway, then yeah, we're going to. Is it not wanting to? Yeah, I think it knows. No, it doesn't know us. I think it might. Nah. Well, maybe not. But. Nah. Uh, that's a good stop. Oh, they're booking. Oh, yeah. Headlights out? Yeah. <laughs> that's a good. Uh, it's an Uber, maybe. But is it an Uber? Uh, yeah. It's got an Uber, old Uber sticker. Could be a decoy. All right, let's just follow for a minute. Let's see, see if we can. Because right now you got somebody in your blind yeah. spot. Let me run that plate hole behind it. vehicle. So we're behind us. five six. We're behind that vehicle. Pulling into the top of a parking lot off of Pillsbury.
Chico, we're still behind it and uh, we haven't conducted a stop yet. So right now we're behind a stolen vehicle. Uh, we requested backup. They're in route. Obviously we're in unmarked, so we'd like to get some marked units over here, but if they stop, we're gonna have to put a a felony stop on it. And it looks like that's probably the route we're gonna go. They're going to the Chica 5-6, they're going into the Taco Bell drive-thru. Pulling right behind them. Hold on, hold on. Chica 5-6, we're at the ordering window and waiting for Martinez. Stepping on each other. Oops. Pull ahead. So, just pull. Don't order. Just no, right behind no. him. I'm trying to figure out. This is perfect. Hi, how are you doing? Nope. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. He's dead. Yeah, we're in the line right behind him. Temple. Do we want so to wait till they pop out on the other end? Yeah, because I have no coverage. Are they already at the window? Looks like they're at the pay window. They've got at least one vehicle in front of them. New CFS. We can box them in once uh, that vehicle needs. Copy. The only thing I can see of the vehicle in the front is it's got a rear decal, decal of a skull and crossbones on the Passenger side New CFS. window. What's he writing down? New CFS. Looks like HMA driver. Chica five six. Looks like HMA driver. And there's a passenger unknown. New CFS. Temporary driver, passenger unknown. Five six sixteen. Is that the lead vehicle now? New CFS. Negative. Their target is right in front of us. They've got a vehicle that's pulling forward now in front of them. Still got another vehicle. Go ahead and Sam 16. There's one vehicle ahead of them, and then our target. Copy. 19, did you copy that? Airframe, once that vehicle leaves, I'll just Well, it's so. going to limit their abilities uh, for escape. They've got a nice block well. wall. Um, as they turn, um, we're going to have, because uh, this whole thing's a block wall. New CFS. Oh, wrong one. Go. 16, they're on the move. Update. Uh, Chica 5, 6, 1196 in the drive through you see your hands! Chico Police Department! Passengers, stick out your hands now! Update. Driver! With your left hand! Open the driver's door! Do it now! Drive! 
driver! Step out of the car! Keep walking back. Don't look at us. Look straight ahead. Look straight ahead, but walk backwards. Five, you got him. Get fingers behind your head. Go down, Go down to your knees, slowly, keeping your hands behind your head. Knees together, ankles together. Cross your, Cross ankles. your ankles. There you go. Don't move. Yes, sir. Now this is just right hand right there. Right hand right there. Yes, sir. I have my heart. I'm not worried about your hair right now. I know, sir. I'm just... The vehicle is my wife. Registered. Okay. I own the vehicle. My name is Report is stolen, so but yeah, I don't know why that is. It's my vehicle. Please send it in. We'll get it all figured out right now, okay? Yeah. Sir, I just let me know. Okay, let's right. handcuffs. Stand up. One, two, three. Stand up. Oh, step up. Step up. There, there we there go. go. You gotta stay Young, please, just be careful. We're not resisting. We're not doing anything. I promise you. We're gonna check you the weapons real quick. Yeah. And we're gonna put you in the back of the vehicle, okay? Yeah. Step out of the car! Step out of the car! Stop Stop! in! Walk backwards. Keep walking. Come back. Come back. Stop. Go down to your knees. Chico Police Department, occupants of the gold Honda, come out now! Chico Police of the K9, if you're in the Honda, make yourself known. I'm gonna send my dog, he's gonna find you and bite you. You in the Honda, come out now, I'm gonna send my dog, he will find you and bite you. Yep. Saldano, you'll be the third, and they can go up and clear right. manually. Back here. Good boy, here. Good boy. Good boy. Most of the crimes, if not all of them, are somewhat related to drugs. Occupied stolen vehicle and on the passenger seat. We have this small white crystal substance believed to be methamphetamine. We'll test it later in evidence just to be sure and so you'll get to see what that looks like. But this is pretty common up here. A lot of people who commit these crimes are users of methamphetamine. The vehicle uh, was reported stolen and during the report the uh, victim uh, stated that a ex potentially stole the vehicle and so it looks like that's who we found driving the car. Yeah, this I'm going to have both transported since he's yep. going to be 10 one she's about yep. 377, so. Got it. So it sounds like he is good to go for the, uh, he's going to go to jail today for the um, stolen vehicle. Correct. And the passenger uh, was found to be in possession of methamphetamine yep. on her person. So both are going to go to jail, one yep. for drug possession and one for stolen vehicle, possession of a stolen vehicle. Yeah,
So like what? What? I don't even know what happened though. Like I, I'm, I was in the office and then we came out here and then they said our drive through was getting stopped. And I said, how am I gonna explain my times? Because we stopped in the drive through and it was running our times, but I don't even really know what was going on. Yeah, so sorry about that. It obviously wasn't exactly the the best place for us, but we had to do it. It was uh, so we got behind it in a stolen vehicle and they ducked into your business. Oh, try to get away. Yeah. Well, I'm happy everybody's safe because yeah. I was trying to make sure the employees were safe, the customers yeah. were safe. <laughs> there was a lot of cars. I was like, oh my gosh, what could have somebody done in the drive? Right Thanks for coming in and explaining yeah. to us. Yeah. We were so clueless, like, what happened? Is everything okay? Yeah. So Appreciate that's, you. That's what was going on in your guys' drive. <laughs> Thank you. See you. Have a good day. Bye. So, um, conducting the inventory of the vehicle, preparing to uh, do a tow, and look in the back and found this uh, rifle, not sure exactly what caliber, um, haven't cleared it yet. So we're going to do that now, make sure that, uh, and we're loaded. Oh, I'm not very sure that the camera looks so, like, is that 7.62? Or no? That a loaded rifle. So there you have it guys, another successful night on patrol. We're gonna get out of here because these guys have a ton of evidence and uh, items to book in safekeeping. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the vlog. I know we had a great time. Make sure to stay tuned and follow along for future ride along vlogs and we'll see you on the next one. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.